Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing my Bombay and Cedar seasonal lifestyle box for the summer season. If you're unfamiliar with Bombay and Cedar, they are a website that is going to have a couple different subscription boxes as well as a shop, but all of their items are going to be cruelty free and vegan. But they do have three different subscription boxes, or I should say four at the moment. So they do have a quarterly, not a quarterly, they do have a monthly beauty box. They have a monthly lifestyle box, they have a seasonal lifestyle box, and then at the moment they do have a one-time fifth birthday box. So the box that I have today is going to be the seasonal lifestyle box, which does promise to send you seven to nine items that are worth at least $225. The box does retail for $84.95 per quarter, or you can pay $79.95 per box for the year up front, but you would have to pay for all four boxes at once. Shipping is included in that price, and you are able to customize some items in the box. I will have all the information and pricing down below for this box, as well as their other boxes, including a referral code in case you are interested. And if you love subscription boxes like I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, but otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get into this box. So I will say, the box this time around is very interestingly shaped. I mean, it's like this long, thin box. I was kind of like confused when I saw it at my doorstep because it was just such a long thin box. I was like, what is in here? But then I realized it was my seasonal summer box and I was so excited. So I believe for this box, you were able to customize three or four items. And when customization time comes around, Bombay and Cedar does send you an email. You're going to click on a link. It'll open a web page, and you're able to make your choice. I will say it is best to make your choice as soon as you see the email because things do sell out. So definitely make the choice as soon as you see that email. So it looks like for this season, there are going to be eight different items in the box. Some items everybody will receive. Some items are going to be customizable and some items Bombay and Cedar randomly chooses for you. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the three items that everybody received. So first up, my hair is on it, of course. Let's get that off. Anyway, really like, come on, what is going on here? Okay, so first up is going to be the Happy Feet Shoe Deodorizer by Bombay and Cedar. It's a powerful spray that is perfect for freshening up feet and shoes, helps eliminate bad odors caused by sweat and bacteria, and this is worth $19. And this does come in a glass bottle. So it's two fluid ounces. It is crafted with essential oils, which I think is awesome. I love essential oils. It's hand poured in the U.S. And again, it is vegan and cruelty free. So it's a shake well before use. Spray as needed on both feet or directly into your shoes to remove odors. So that is pretty interesting to get. So it looks like it does have eucalyptus oil, lavender oil, tea tree, cedar wood. Ooh, there's a lot of different oils in here. Eucalyptus is my favorite. I am kind of curious. What does this smell like? I mean, I know I'm just going to be spraying it into the air, but that's okay. Let's see. Ooh, that smells really nice. I mean, I feel like you probably could use this for something other than your feet or shoes too, because that scent was really nice. And again, it just has stuff like water, witch hazel, vegetable glycerin, and essential oils in it. So I don't see why you couldn't use this for something else if you didn't want to use it on your feet or shoes. Oh, next up that everybody received is going to be two lip liners and a matte lipstick by Mood Matcher. This is enhance your makeup routine with this highly pigmented lip set. And this is worth $22. I don't know if the shades were chosen at random or not, but I do have a liquid matte lipstick in the shade Pink Passion. So here is what it looks like. I did just receive a, a Mood Matcher liquid matte lipstick in my June monthly lifestyle subscription box. I'm not sure if it's the same color. I feel like it, it might be the same color. But anyway, this is a pinky color. I just Personally, I don't think I'm going to open and swatch this because I usually don't go for this color on my lips. I mean, I know it would match my shirt perfectly today, but I just feel like I don't gravitate towards these colors. I don't want to be wasteful, so I am going to keep this sealed at the moment. And then there are the lip liners. So it looks like I have mine in the shade Rose, and I also have Coral. So these look like they're going to be very pretty shades. So I did go ahead and swatch the lip liners. They are just like the wooden lip liner type of pencil, but you have the Coral and the Rose. I will say, I feel like the color, the Coral, it's a lot more like a neon Coral than what I was expecting, but it is a very pretty shade. They both are very pretty. I definitely feel like these are more summer colors which is kind of unfortunate to get the summer box in september because i feel like these would have been great for summer but you can definitely still use these all year round 
And the last item that everybody receives is going to be some organic kombucha by Co. So it says, Co blends organic fruit juice, live probiotics, vitamin C, and refreshing sparkling water into a privable drink with real immunity benefits. It says it is a $5 value. And I do have two in my box. I'm not sure if you were supposed to get two or if they just threw an extra one in there on accident. I almost feel like you were supposed to get one. But they are watermelon flavored. It's a naturally flavored sparkling beverage. 12 fluid ounces. Has 25 calories per can. I am kind of curious to give this a try. I know it does kind of have the tea in it, which personally, I'm not a huge fan of tea. But I do like watermelon. I like that this has probiotics in it. So I will definitely have to give this a try. So next up in the box is going to be something that you were able to customize. So there are four different items that you could choose from, and they were either a barbecue briefcase, a full spectrum hemp facial oil, an overnight recovery cream, or a Nantucket wine basket. And I will say I was between the barbecue briefcase and the Nantucket wine basket for the longest time. I personally do not drink wine, but I thought that basket was so cute and I know it could have had other purposes. But I did ultimately decide to go with the barbecue briefcase because I thought this was so unique. So it says, this mini portable charcoal grill is a great way to grill your food wherever you are. Just unfold the case and follow the simple instructions and you'll be cooking in no time. And this is worth $40. I just thought this was so unique. I didn't even realize this was really a thing. So let's see. It can accommodate cooking for two people, convenient mess-free ash catcher, locks and closes securely for easy and safe transport, and it's hand wash only. Okay, well that doesn't tell me a ton about it. I really want to see what this looks like, because again, I just did not know this was a thing, so I think this is awesome. Okay, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. It actually looks like a little briefcase and it has a little handle and little snaps that is so cute oh my goodness this is adorable all right so let's see what this actually looks like because i am so intrigued i haven't opened this yet so i don't really know what i'm doing so it looks like it has the little grill stuff on the inside all wrapped up in bubble wrap. All right, you know what? If we're gonna do this, we might as well do this right. So let's get this open. Okay, so it does also come with this, which I'm assuming is what you cook on. And then it has like the little top. And then I'm assuming you just cook like so when you put this in the briefcase. Does it tell me anything else? Because I am kind of curious. Here you can see in the picture a little bit better what it would look like. It even gives you picture directions, which is great. So let's see, make sure this smaller charcoal tray rests on the larger tray. Da, 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 da. How do we get this working? So you place the charcoal into the smaller tray, ignite safely, place cooking grill on top. You're ready to start cooking. I think this is really cool personally. And I mean, I don't know how much use I'll get out of this to be honest, because I feel like if I'm at home, I'm just going to go for like the toaster oven or the actual oven or the actual grill. But I feel like for somebody living in Florida, you can totally bring this to the beach if you wanted to or when it's hurricane season thankfully we haven't had any this year so far but if the power goes out I mean I could totally see myself making a hot dog on this if I was hungry because that would be such a good idea if you didn't have any power or anything like that but moving right along the next item is something else that you were able to customize so you could have chosen a set of two linen towels a linen bread bag or a stoneware accessory and there were a ton of different items that you could choose from and for this one, personally, I kind of knew an easy choice of what I was going to get. So I do already have the linen towels from other subscription boxes. And the stoneware accessories, as cute as they were, I feel like since I already am a homeowner, I have items like that already. But I don't own a linen bread bag. So I decided to get that. So this is the Linen Bread Bag by Magic Linen. It's the ultimate hack to keeping your bread fresh for longer. These bags are breathable and moisture wicking so they won't leave your bread, they won't let your bread go stale or accumulate mold. And this is worth $15. I got like this nice light mauve lavender color. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but this is actually a very nice one. I personally do not bake any breads, but it is something I would love to start doing because I think the bread just tastes so good when you bake it at home. So I feel like this would be perfect to keep the bread nice and fresh. This is definitely a larger size too, which I think is awesome. And it does have the ties there. 
This is handmade in Lithuania. So this is actually very nice and I'm excited about this color. It is so cute. So the fourth item in the box is going to be something where Bombay and Cedar randomly chose for you. So you could have gone either a tote bag or backpack or an I am enough ring. And the item that they sent me is going to be a tote bag. So it says they are adorable printed cotton bags that are available in several designs and colors. The style is chosen at random and is worth $24. The ring was worth $25. The ring is something they did also have in one of their monthly lifestyle boxes, which I did not receive it in my monthly lifestyle box either. I was supposed to, but there was a shipping delay, so they ended up sending me a mystery bundle. So that could be why we are seeing this in this box, just so that way they can kind of get rid of their inventory there. But the tote bag that I received is it's very pretty, I will say that, but the message that they sent me just does not fit for me at my point in where I am in life. But mine does say one sweet mama, but this is just, it's very pretty. I love all the flowers on it, the nice colorful tote bag straps. It's decent quality. You can definitely take this to the store when you go shopping, especially if you go somewhere where they don't have bags. There are no pockets on the inside, so it is just one giant bag. This bag is very cute. So although I am not a mom at the moment, I am a teacher and I get called mom pretty much every single day. And I do have pets, so I am a little Shih Tzu mom. But anyway, this would be a great gift as well. You could give this to your mom, your grandma, your sister if they have kids, anything like that. This would just be really nice to kind of fill up and put some gifts in. I don't know what I'm going to do with mine yet, but this is very pretty and hopefully maybe one day I'll get some use out of it. You never know. So in the beginning of this video, I did say there were eight items in the box, but I just realized they miscounted this. So they went from item four to item six. So there are actually seven items in the box, but the next item is another one that you were able to customize. So you could have chosen either a dip powder nail kit, an artist freehand tattoo kit, or a Voyage hardcover pop-up journal. And the item that I decided to go with was going to be the Dip Powder Nail Kit. So this is by Ann Aaron. It's a dip powder nail kit that is the latest innovation in nail care. It's easy to use kit that provides a long lasting durable finish that lasts up to three weeks longer than the traditional gel and polish. And this is worth $46. So I do really like the dip powder nails. I usually buy most of my colors from a Revel nail, but I figured I would maybe try out a different brand here and I wasn't really interested in any of the other items. I knew I didn't need a tattoo kit and a pop-up journal. I just feel like it wasn't really speaking to me. Ooh, it did have stickers though, which I would have liked that, but I knew I'd get the most use out of this. So it looks like you get the Pro Base, the Activator, the finishing gel, you also get like a nail file and a nail buffer, and then some dip powder. So this kit really has everything that you need, and I think it is awesome that they have everything that you need because if you just received the dip powder and you didn't have like the activator or the base or the finishing gel, you wouldn't be able to do your nails. So I love that they include everything. This shade is very pretty. I'm assuming the shade is under construction. It's this nice, pretty pink color, which I really like. And then they did also include a, another color, which is the Barely There Pink. So it's just like this subtle pink color. It doesn't even look pink on camera. It looks more white. But I can tell it's like a very light baby pink color. I'm actually really excited about this. I think this was the best item that I could have chosen. And I can't wait to give another dip powder a try. Because again, I do only use the Rebel Nails. So it'll be curi or it'll be kind of cool to see how well this one works. I feel like when they say it lasts for three weeks, it usually doesn't do that for my nails. I feel like nail polish goes off quickly on my nails so fast. On my toenails, it lasts forever. My fingernails, it's gone quickly. So I would like to kind of compare this to Rebel to see which one actually works better. Moving right along, this next item is a this or that item where Bombay and Cedar randomly chose for you, but you could have gotten a facial serum or the after sun cooling jelly. And I did get the After Sun Cooling Jelly, and I am so glad I got that item. This is by Canley. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's an After Sun Cooling Gel that is formulated to be gentle yet effective at soothing irritated skin, and this is worth $36. It's in this really nice pink color. I feel like this is perfect because I live in Florida. I get sunburned all the time. I can put so much suntan lotion on and I still end up burnt somehow. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. 
So you can use this as a moisturizer, which would be a thin layer to soothe your dry skin and allow it time for absorption. You can use it as a facial mask, which you leave on for 5 to 15 minutes and then rinse off. And then I guess if you wanted to, you could just use it after the sun. So I'm very excited to give this a try. It's in like really nice glass packaging as well. And last but not least is going to be yet another choice item where you got to make the choice. So you could have chosen either a desktop cornhole game, a backgammon set, a take anywhere hula hoop, or the peel and pour popcorn cups and popping bowl. So I will say I was kind of between a couple different options for this one. I know I didn't need the hula hoop, although it is really cool that it kind of is like a hula hoop that you can fold up and take with you anywhere. The backgammon set, I did get a backgammon game in my monthly lifestyle subscription box, so I knew I wasn't going to get that. So I was between the popcorn and the cornhole for the longest time. And the popcorn had different flavors that you could choose. They had like some salty ones, they had some sweet ones. It actually looked really cool. But I did decide to ultimately go with the desktop cornhole. I figured the popcorn, once I finish the popcorn, it's gone. The cornhole game will last a little bit longer. And when I made this selection, I was actually sitting with my grandpa one night watching TV and he was watching the competitive cornhole on TV. So I figured this would be really cute to have at his desk when he's on the computer. I think it's something that, you know, he would maybe get some use out of, hopefully. But anyway, here's what it looks like. It's a lot bigger than I thought. But it's a tiny version of the backyard favorite made to fit on your desk. Keep yourself entertained while working with this mini mini wooden cornhole. And this is worth $22.50. I just think it's so cute. It's like really cute. And then it has, oh, can I move this? No, of course not. I don't want to open it yet. But it does have the hole there to put the little bean bags in. And you can just kind of like prop it up on your desk. I think this is actually really really cute but that is going to bring me to the end of this unboxing and overall i will say i am very happy with this seasonal box i feel like sometimes the seasonal box is a little bit hit or miss it is pretty expensive at that 85 dollars price tag i will say i did not pay 85 dollars. i subscribed to the seasonal box when they had their grandfathered price i can't remember if i paid 60 or 70 dollars. it was somewhere in that range so for me i definitely feel like it is worth the 60 or 70 dollars if I was somebody who paid $85 for this, although I will get use out of pretty much everything in the box, which I am so excited about, I mean, it's kind of like hitting on that price tag where I don't know if it would be worth $85, but I would love to know your thoughts. So please comment down below and let me know everything you thought about this box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, wait, I will also add quickly, if you are interested, the summer box is obviously sold out but they are selling the fall box at the moment and they already had one choice item out to customize in case you were interested. But now we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching once again.